Is there anything you regret doing or not doing from your season? You first. Uh, yes, absolutely. If there's one regret that I have, I mean, obviously, everything that happened happened for a reason, and I ended up meeting my wife. So, I'm, I'm, I'm. I, I would, if I had to do it all over again, I would do everything the same, just for that same result. But if I had to change or tweak one little thing, was the whole Ellen debacle. Um, I don't. I don't know. You, you you didn't see that. You didn't see that situation on TV. Uh, people, people think I really be lying. When I say I don't watch the show. I I, I never. When you say it you didn't then. watch the show, you really didn't watch the show. Like, I really um, didn't watch the show. <laughs> so it was a group date. We go on Ellen. Um, we're in the green room. We're waiting to go on. All of a sudden, a producer comes in and hands each and every one of us uh, some speedos like fluorescent speedo underwears with ellen on them they're like put these on so what does ellen love to do scare people make you know dance that yeah yeah, scare people dance so like dancing is like a big part of her show and you know people in the audience dancing or whatever so immediately we all thought oh shit we're all gonna get into our underwear and we're gonna dance for the all these people in the audience you know mom's watching so immediately all of us beeline to the bar, which they conveniently set up right next to us, and we're taking shots. So, and Rachel's favorite liquor at the time, she doesn't even drink that anymore, which is weird. At the time, she loved Fireball. Oh, so we were, minus one point for Rachel. We literally no, she doesn't drink it anymore. So kudos to her. But we were literally downing. I would say within a thirty-minute span, I probably took like five or six shots. Nice. So you can imagine by the time I went out stage, like I was, woo, I, I, I didn't yeah, care was, what was happening, right? Yeah, so I yeah. said something, I'm not going to reiterate, I said something that I shouldn't have said. And unfortunately, I think that put me behind the eight ball because that actually sh- uh, premiered prior to the show airing. Okay. So I feel like people already had kind of like a little bad taste in their mouth about, about me you? Okay. when I said it. So yeah, it just put me behind the eight ball and... If I think if that wouldn't have happened, like I think people would have gotten more of a fresh start and more of a fresh perspective on me from the beginning of the show on. You know I'm about to YouTube this when we get off, right? Oh yeah, YouTube it. <laughs> it's there. It's there. The YouTube internet it. is forever. I've come to terms with it. It is what it is. It was uh it was something that I should have said and Ellen probably hates me till this day, but hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Oh, you said some something. Oh, I no, no, not to Ellen. It oh, was, okay. You go online, you'll see it. It was it was a cringeworthy moment, but again, I was I had a lot of liquid courage at that moment, okay. and I just said what I said. But yes, if that was one regret, that would be it. So, on to I, I, your regret or lack of. No, nah, I mean, does it say lack of? Uh, is that what part of the question is? Is there any, or do not doing? Uh, so they're twofold, right? One is going to be vain, which I just. You know, I've talked to a lot of guys from my season. They wish they would have, you know, prepared themselves, like, physical-wise. Uh, so, again, I didn't know how big the show was. So, I was like, hey, <laughs> this is me, right? Um, I'm a little chest here. I'm a little taco meat hanging out. <laughs> like, I just went on, bro. <laughs> so, so looking back now, was. Mike would have been ready, ready. Oh, God, yeah. I, bro, I, we had Matt James on the show. What did I? T- what is the advice that Matt said I gave him? There was two pieces of advice I told him. One, I said, Matt, you know, Treat these women like your mother told you to be. And then two, you need to put 15 pounds of muscle on. I was dead serious. I, I, it is what it is. I don't Speaking care what from experience, about. man. And so that's the vain aspect. You know, I wish I would have, you know, prepared myself looks-wise, physicality-wise, and, you know, did some of my little taco meat. But I really don't care about that because I'm still MF Mike Johnson. Yeah, uh, yeah. But since the internet lives forever, you know how much flack I got from the homies from when I twerked? <laughs> Wait, was that that dance with the piano and all that? Next to the oh, piano. Oh, was terrible. No, that was, was that the it? piano one. That was that was that was fun. We were that was some other thing. Fun. Okay, but now were you twerking? We had a uh, because Hannah Brown is a uh, a beauty pageant, you know, uh, queen. former contestant. Yeah, queen. Okay, and so we did like a you know a beauty pageant, and like my talent was, I guess my talent was, we all had to do some form of dance, right? <laughs> and I could twerk. And so I and so I twerked, and like I was just so embarrassing, yo. Like, it was like how, how did that? How did like? that go? Did Hannah like it? I I, I can't remember. She, I I think Hannah and the other contestants were like, like caught off guard. Like, whoa! 
like, you know, around. Like, oh, that's dude. a lot. That's a lot yeah, right that's there. A lot of ass. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but uh, yeah, I wish I would have done that. But it was funny. 